pardon me. lounge in the Houston airport and uh, yeah we are just sitting raining I had a five-hour lay over there we got the United credit card and really that's a great perk being able to get into that United lounge because they got fucking food drinks for days dude and you can just chill in there for as long as you want so here we are leaving Houston and uh, it would be a long, long flight, uh, six hours. But we had some cool lightning storms popping off, so that was pretty sweet. six hours to Lima, Peru from Houston so that was a pretty long one yesterday it's been almost a full it's been 23 hours since I woke up <laughs> and I got here at 12:30 midnight and now I'm waiting on uh, waiting on this fucking place to tell me which gate my plane is going to be at and it's boarding in 40 minutes it says it is but I still don't know which gate I'm supposed to go to so this is fun <laughs> it's also I think 3.30 3.45 in the morning right now. I haven't really slept except for on the planes. It's not very comfortable. hours my flight from Lima to here was delayed we're in Cajamarca Peru my flight was delayed like two hours and I fell asleep and I woke up right as they were boarding so that was good it worked out and I got a little sleep on the plane but I'm still exhausted because I just haven't slept much so anyway we got a El departamento. I got un tele, wifi, asientos, a fucking sofa, patineta, horno, refrigerador, ref, refrigerador, eh, yeah, whatever. Pretty chimba. We got two rooms. Tenemos dos habitaciones. Un cama mm, full. Y una 
Buena Vista. Y también un baño, ducha y otra habitación también con una buena vista de las montañas. Very beautiful city. Never uh, would have even thought to come here. We got some people down here. We got some shops and stores. Took the scenic route. It's definitely a mountainous, mountainy place and uh, streets are a little fucked up and run down. But uh, we'll have to find the skate park. Probably, oh, you know what? See that building over there with the round roof thing? Uh, that one? I believe the skate park's right on the other side of that shit. Somewhere right over there in that area, so it's actually not too far. So that's cool. Pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, we got a sick rooftop too. Maybe we'll take you up there. I guess I chose a pretty like I don't know what the fuck you call this area but there's nothing but fucking car part stores it's fucking weird <laughs> Dame la fresa, toda la fresa. <laughs> so Apparently we gotta pay 1.2 soles to use the skate park here. So that's kind of cool. I guess whatever. Keeps the broke ninjas out of here. But here we are, dude. Coliseum, bro. I don't even know. Maybe they do soccer. Maybe they do some other shit. They got games going on. They got kids playing. Shit's cool, dude. This is Kevin. He's the dude I met on Instagram. He's super cool. He's a ripper. And, um, well, he needed a board pretty bad, so I hooked him up with the extra boarding house deck that I got. So thanks, John, for sending me down with the extra. Day one. Got some homies. I met Kevin <laughs> once again, you know how I do on Instagram. So that was cool. Uh, a couple, maybe a month or so ago, a month and a half. And uh, yeah, fucking, he doesn't live here, but he's up visiting for like a week. So we're going to skate and uh, met some other homies, some rippers, cool cats, nice people, great people. And um, we're going to fucking skate tomorrow and shit. I just wanted to, I was just thinking about, you know, I try not to be out after dark too much in foreign countries when I'm alone, but um, the nice thing about being a skateboarder is you always have a weapon and I know how to use it, bruh. <laughs> just kidding. I hope I never have to do that to anybody. So I'm still walking home, but I couldn't help but to stop to get this. It's called Kachanga, and uh, it's really fucking good. Anyway, hella fire. It's like a non-bread 
but I forgot to get a video of the lady making it just straight up in the fire. It's really cool. So I'm going to go back and get more because it's only 38 cents. Gotta be cheap out here. So now I'm just back home in my apartment and uh, going through some skate clips, marking the goods, deleting the not so chills. But I also wanted to talk about this. Inca Cola. Super good. There's a drink, a little soda in Colombia called Colombiana that I really liked a lot. I didn't realize this was five soles, whatever, dollar, dollar fifty or something for this big thing. Bruh, can't get that in the States. Anyway, I think this has got some Guarana, oh, Agua, uh, oh yeah, Guarana. I don't know what dude, but it's fucking good. We gotta be cheap out here sometimes. And I don't know if I told you guys yet, but uh, I just bought a one-way ticket down here. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be here for. So that's why I only spent a dollar on some uh, instant coffee and I can make it here. And I don't have to go to a coffee shop because surprisingly, Sometimes it's kind of hard to find a coffee shop in these uh, in these countries where coffee is like a thing. So, I don't know, whatever. So basically what I'm doing today, I mean, my first full day here, so I slept in a little bit. I think I probably passed out at like nine because I woke up, I don't even know if I told you, I woke up at 3.30 in the morning, Mountain Standard Time in Albuquerque. My first flight left at uh, 7.30 in the morning yesterday, Mountain Time, so 8.30 here in Peru and flew to Houston, five hour layover there, left there about four, I think 4.30 to Lima. That was a six hour flight. Actually it was delayed an hour. We sat on the run on the tarmac for an hour in line. Um, and so got to Lima a little after midnight last night no, two nights ago now. So yeah, two days ago is when I woke up. <laughs> and then midnight, the night before last, we got to Lima. My next flight here to Cajamarca was supposed to leave at 5.30, but it got delayed two hours. So I was really bummed they didn't stamp my passport, dude. I don't know why they didn't, but uh, I was a little bit bummed about that, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, my luggage got there, so that was good. And then uh, went through customs, came back out, hung out till like 5.30, then it was delayed uh, by an hour, and then another hour, and I ended up falling asleep in the chairs in the waiting room, or in, the, you know, wherever. And uh, I woke up and I looked up at the monitor and it said my plane was boarding. So I packed my shit up, ran over, and uh, finally got on that plane to Cajamarca and got here at like 9.30 in the morning yesterday. So overall it was like 20 set, 25 hours 
of traveling from the time I left Albuquerque to the time I got to Cajamarca, Peru. So, um, yeah, here we are. We went skating yesterday, we made some friends and got some clips. Right now, I'm gonna have this coffee, work a lot on the blog a little bit and uh, edit some older videos, some skate park review stuff and uh, so I can clear some space on my phone. Um, and then I'm gonna try and just put something up once a week. So it's kind of what we're doing here. That's pretty much it. One thing I really hate about traveling, probably the only thing, well, I should say the worst thing, is not having a bidet. I'm a spoiled American. And really, those bidets are awesome, man. So, got a little experiment. I got this bottle of water. This is not the drinking water that I bought. This is the tap water. So, uh, we're gonna give it a go. <laughs> check it out, see how it goes. Also, check this out. In my bathroom here, I got this light. And then uh, we got the shower. This, inside of the shower, is the breaker for the hot water heater, which must be somewhere behind this wall. So you turn that on. And uh, look at that. Look at that fucking mess of wiring. Very up to code, as we would say in America. So yeah. This thing's got a hot water heater, it heats the water. <laughs> Turn this shit off, boom. All right, so I'm out exploring. I actually went to try to find a grocery store, but uh, it's just a lot of people, a lot of different people selling the same things, some different things. I went into this market. Okay. So first, I was a vegetarian for five years and I didn't eat meat. So, okay, that's out of the way. I went into this, <laughs> I went into this fucking market, dude. And they got all kinds of stuff. They got fruits and produce and and uh, beans and rice and all the all the goods and whatever. And then I turned this corner, dude, and I just went down a fucking slaughterhouse, slaughter hall all these fucking different kinds of huge chunks of meat just hanging out and uh <laughs> i don't know i'm a little overwhelmed because i wanted to just find a regular grocery store and just get some stuff but apparently i have to buy different things at different places which is fine it's cool i just don't know everyone's got the same shit so i don't know what who to buy from and but i'm just out exploring it's a little overwhelming but these nice ladies offered asked if i wanted some we got uh jello i don't know what it is in spanish but it's a sabor fresa strawberry and i got some popcorn too one sol each so two soles 50 cents or something like that so I went for it, I was chilling on this bench in this nice park between these two roads and on this whole side is like shops and markets and stuff like that so I'm gonna try again to get some food but uh, yeah I needed to just I needed to just chill for a minute dude because that shit's a little overwhelming. <laughs> Alright so the uh Grocery run was a little overwhelming. And, uh, I don't know, dude. It was a little overwhelming. And I didn't really. I got a couple of things that I went to get. And I'm going to show you that right here in one second. So. So, I. God dang, I just really did not quite pick up the uh, tres por un sol. So I got five soles worth. So I got 15 rolls. 
for basically a dollar and 30 cents. I got some bananas, four for one sol. So I got eight, that's two soles. So that's siete. Oh, uh, this was one sol, you know that. We talked about that. And all of this, I mean, fuck dude, I don't even know, I just got some shit. But I got some crackers, integrales, and chiples, picantes, plantain chips. So all of that was, uh, let's see, this was 17 soles, so about four bucks for all of that. 17, 19 soles, and uh, cinco, so 24 soles, about six dollars for all that, dude, so pretty fucking chill. Although, I really wanted, again, to go to a regular store and like get stuff, but whatever. <laughs> so far, dude, bananas, hella bomb, super good. Little bananitos, little, <laughs> little baby bananas. And this bread, you guys know me. I love my bread, dude. That's sweet. It's a little like a sweet bread, like a big ass Hawaiian roll or something. I fucking got 15 of those for a dollar thirty, dude. Next time I know that it's three for one soul. So, anyway, I'm gonna try all these plantain chips too.